Hello, today we got an email from the Herald Sun. Uh, it was titled, Media Request, Herald Sun, Victorian Socialist Media Investigation. And they sent us this email. It said, good afternoon. I'm a journalist at the Herald Sun. The Herald Sun investigated the social media accounts of upcoming local election candidates and found some posts by your candidates. Screenshots are attached to this email. Uh, and then listed a bunch of posts. Some of these posts included, Jorge regularly speaks at pro-Palestine rallies. Like, okay, uh, excellent. Uh, the follow-up question to that is, uh, my question is to the Victorian Socialists, uh, are these beliefs held widely by Victorian Socialist candidates and the party itself? Does the party back these candidates' opinions on these issues? And do the Victorian Socialists believe this commentary is appropriate for potential Victorian councillors? Like, what do you, what do you mean? The idea that uh, someone, a Victorian socialist appearing at a pro-Palestine rally is uh, somehow outrageous is very Herald Sun, so uh, props to them for that. Um, but also some of the other posts were kind of sick. Marty also said that Victoria Police are an overfunded and unaccountable fascist force, which is that's what police are. Also one of our candidates, Daniel, uh, said that a story about uh, the, the mural of uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, being vandalised was an improvement. And I think that's just iconic. That is just iconic behaviour, and we should absolutely do that. Anyways, we responded to the email. We'd like to thank the Herald Sun for putting in the work to draw the public's attention to the kind of passion and colourful turn of phrase our candidates bring to their participation in the public deba debate. We think these are exactly the kind of people who should be elected to councils in Victoria, and that they can be trusted to stand up for their communities on the issues that matter. Don't read the Herald Sun. 